Have you spoken about this before? No. My whole world f- flipped on its head. You're trying to take me away from my dad and that's wrong because I was like indoctrinated in a way. They were asking the right questions. Come and give me a hug. To understand who you are now, what do I need to know about that part of your life? Um, well, I, as like a young child before the age of like eight, um, had quite a traumatic, like relationship with my dad. And I don't really want to go into it too much because it affects my siblings and my whole family. Um, but like that really consumed a lot of my childhood, um, ever since I can remember, like I've really struggled sleeping. And I think a lot of the traumatic things that were happening, I didn't realize that they were wrong, but I knew that like, I would look around at other kids and be like, why, why, like, why don't they seem to understand this like pain or dread or fear? Like, like, you know, where does the joy, like, when does that come for me? Like I, you know, I kind of always felt like I, felt things very deeply um, in comparison to other people. And so when that sort of period of my life ended, um, I imagined that like, you know, everything is just like up from here, like everything's perfect now. Um, All of those things that I was concerned about were actually wrong. And like now I'm sort of free. Um, Yeah, and then, you know, at different stages in life, you realize that there's never like an end destination for that freedom. Um, And it's, yeah, it kind of comes from within, I guess. Like, when are you going to let yourself be free from from the pain? But yeah, that really consumed a lot of my childhood. That was sort of like what I was identified as, you know, what I identified myself as for a long time. And then you know, everything changed and I sort of became this like, you know, character who uh, who wouldn't let anything bad happen to her or anyone around her. And yeah, I guess like maybe there is some sort of like connection between those two things. Your mother left your father? Yeah, before I was born actually. Well, no, I guess she escaped when I was about four months old, so. It was, you know, bad before that. And then, uh, yeah. Have you spoken about this before? No. I don't know. I, I like you. <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel like this is an, um, it's something that I've been like learning a lot about recently and I feel like I can speak about it now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, d- does it, has it taken you time to like, to, can I ask the question about, have you spoken about it before? Because, um, I think at like 25 years old, there was like really foundational things I learned about myself that that, that I only learned. I mean, you know, sometimes you read something or you hear something and you go, fuck, mm. that explains this thing. So my question there is just like, did it take you time to connect those dots? Yeah, definitely. I think that people sort of talk about like rewiring, I, people on your podcast actually speak about rewiring your brain. But that first, in order to do that, you have to recognize when, your your brain is doing a pattern that you want to rewire and and I think that like struggle with identity and like the big questions of like who am I I think that everyone struggles with that um but I think that like you know there's a a period of your childhood um where you know certain situations can really stunt um like or just alter forever like who you are going to become. Um, And that's not to say that you can't also just like become a very peaceful and, uh, you know, content and fulfilled person. Um, But like that sort of basic instinct of like, what do I, what brings me joy? You know, you've kind of second guessed that a lot as a kid and you're not known you know, whether to trust what you really think or feel or, you know, whatever sort of like mental manipulation. Um, and that can 
yeah, really have like lasting effects. So when you when you talk about joy, you talk mm. about struggling to feel joy at a young age. Mm. What what is that? How do how do I how do I how do I understand those words? Um, I think like you know when you watch um, kids play, um, and like there's struggles and there's tiffs and there's like whatever, but there's like just like complete inhibition, right? And it's just like running or it's like going on the slide or it's like, hmm. I felt like I would often stop in a situation like that. I would be doing something and then I would just stop and be like, something awful is gonna happen. And just like, I couldn't continue. <laughs> um, do you want a tissue? <laughs> Maybe. Jack, could you grab a tissue, please? We can stop as much as you want, by the way. We don't have to carry on. It's a great thing with <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> you can just keep them on Thank the desk you. if you want. Yeah. Maybe I'll hide them around the other side. I could put them just like here. Cool. Is that that's off camera? Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah, I would just... Um, had that sense of impending doom and I didn't know how to make it go away. Um, and I had like great memories. I don't even know, it's hard to remember a lot of them. A lot of those times that I felt very free, I was actually on my own. Um, but I would never have like thought I was like an introverted person. Like I always would have thought that I was quite extroverted because um, I perform a lot for people, you know? Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I struggled. I, yeah, I struggled with that when I was a kid. Um, and just thought like, how do I stop feeling like this and just feel like everything's okay, you know? But at that age, I'm guessing you didn't know why you felt like that. So knowing how to, to go about yeah. healing from it is, is an impossible task, right? It goes yeah. back to the point about you can't solve for something that you, you're not aware of. Yeah, going like nothing's wrong. Like nothing is wrong. Everything's the way that it's supposed to be, but it wasn't. <laughs> but I, d I just would tell myself that like, what is wrong with you? Like, Where is, was there an age when you found, found out? Because I kind of asked this question earlier, but was there, an age, was there a moment where you found out what was wrong? Yeah, when I was about eight, um, I, It's quite like a complex like string of events that happened but basically it had like met its like peak and I was at school and I guess I was well I mean obviously I was really struggling um and I don't really know what happened but I was taken by a teacher to the staff room and um she was saying like what's wrong you know like what's happened have you are you hungry well no, she said I don't know, yeah, are you hungry? I said, yeah. She said, did you eat breakfast? And I said, no. And she said, oh, why not? And I said, we just didn't have any breakfast. And, you know, and then she says, well, you know, do you normally have breakfast? And I said, not really. And so, you know, the sort of, they were asking the right questions. It's okay, take your time. I'm going to come and give you a hug. I feel really compelled to give you a hug. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. No, I, I do think it's important because I had so many people who loved and cared about me so much, but I'd never been asked the right questions where I could really say what was wrong um and um my mum came to school and picked me up and um my siblings were also at secondary school at the time and they um some of them was were with mum and 
one was not and they were with dad still and yeah um and it was the first time that like it was all of the doors were sort of open and all of these things that we were experiencing were like out on the table and it was really really hard because I still wanted to fight and say no like these things aren't bad like you're trying to take me away from my dad and that's wrong you know like um because I was like indoctrinated in a way so I really was sort of fighting it for for at the beginning but but basically like my whole world like f flipped on its head and even though all these things that I f was feeling I thought oh my god I'm so glad I don't have to see my dad anymore I uh, it still was like against everything that I had ever ever knew to be true. Uh -huh. 